What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a game that's been in development for a while, but I hadn't had time to check it on out. I just kind of felt that it was a little bit early on. Well, the time has finally come. We're going to be checking out Dual Gear today. I'm a big fan of anything Mecha, and honestly, Mecha has really taken a beating. Like, in the last 10 years. There really hasn't been a whole lot of it that's been really, really good. It's all kind of just been rough and just uninspiring, I guess. And so anyways, aside from, like, Battletech, I struggle to think of anything mech-related that was an absolute 100% unequivocal banger. So, I love mecha stuff. I grew up playing Mech Warrior and Battletech and all that kind of stuff. I grew up playing Armored Core and all those kinds of games. And unfortunately, they've all sort of fallen by the wayside. Even the King Front Mission has not been making an appearance lately. And Front Mission was like one of my favorite things ever back in like the PlayStation days. So anyways, we're going to dive on in today, take a look at this tactical RPG. I've played through the tutorial, I've learned how to play it a bit. The game uses like a really, really odd combat system. It's sort of like a real-time third-person strategy, reactive, like it's really hard to describe because there's like turns and there's like AP, but at the same time, it's also real time when it comes to like firing and like getting shot at. And so like you can evade, you can move around as long as you still have AP still left. They're playing around with really kind of a unique system with this game. I haven't totally wrapped my head around it because the tutorial is very, very brief. And then on top of that, the game has like some translation issues coming over from Japanese to English. And so sometimes it can be really, really hard to like fully understand the mechanic until you fiddle with it for a while. But that being said, let's dive on and spend about 25 minutes with the game. See if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself in early access, I've got a link for you down below so that you can check that on out. It'll be next to my Discord channel, my Twitch stream, and all of my other... I don't know, dude. The assorted accoutrement that everyone is expected to have when you do anything in content creation, okay? That's the best way that I can put it. I'm expected to have these things, therefore I have these things. Uh, let's start a new game. I've opted to skip the tutorial. Because I've already played through it, and I feel like I've got like a solid grasp on what's going on in the basic core gameplay tenets. There are some weapons and things that I haven't been able to fiddle around with uh, towards the end of the first mission. But we'll, we'll piece that off as we go. 2022. The world is beginning to recover from the great pandemic two years ago, but suffering from disequilibrium, things structured us to be humankind. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna skip that real fast. The translation, like I said, is pretty rough. However, it is interesting that this game started early access like way before the pandemic, and now this is remarkably cogent. That's a little bit worrying. We've arrived, Commander. Radio signals checked, system check. I don't have a cute voice like I feel like she would have, dude. Like, I'm just gonna read it normally, and you guys are just gonna have to suspend your disbelief. Connection stable, system all green, ready for mission. Please take care, everyone. Yeah, boot that thing, dude. My, my, my mech is well endowed. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> that is a dong piece on that mech right there. Oh my, they've all got it. Oh my goodness gracious. Thanks, Amy. Uh, Huston, do you copy? We're ready to pick you up. Alright guys, no time to talk. A shuttle from Babel is going to arrive on schedule. Don't forget the objective. Uh, believe me, when everything's normal, trouble's going to come later. Yep, exactly. Drop pods, dude. Exactly what I expected to happen because I've played this! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, great. It's too fast. Four parachute sentries, Gatling type. Who did it? Ah, uh, whoever did it. Just eliminate them before the shuttle arrives. Hey, don't you want the details? This is a UNR place, right? It's not easy to get through, uh, unless you have permission. Well, we talked a lot from the briefing. Kenji's right. We need to fight these unexpected enemies first. Same as Rangan said, our information was leaked. Proceed with the orders. Anti-THV warfare confirmed. Destroy all thin toys before the shuttle arrives. Like I said, dude, the translation on this one, it, it gets a little bit rough, but I feel like the core gameplay elements are actually pretty dope. Alright, so from right here, we get to pick which mech we want to activate. You get this over map in between every single turn, and so does the enemy. And so anyways, we've got to decide who we want to go after. I think we should start. We've got a couple of different mechs. So we've got Ken uh, we've got Kenji over here. Kenji's got himself just a big knife and a knuckle duster. I don't know why on a heavy weapons platform you would just opt for big knife. But that's apparently what they've decided to do. Everybody else has machine guns and missile launchers for whatever reason, Kenji. Big knife. 
Uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and initiate combat with her first. Uh, she's got a missile launcher, she's got a machine gun, and then she's got some other stuff going on too. I'm just gonna skip on over that real fast. It looks like she's actually just got a missile launcher and a machine gun. Now, that little blue meter on our mech right there, that's gonna be effectively the AP that we're gonna use to participate in any action. From shooting guns to moving, uh, that's what our go-to is gonna be. And as I start to move, what you'll notice, I'm gonna leave that one right there for Kenji, I think. Actually, no, Kenji can get that one right there. I've got a normal strike right here, so I'm gonna see... Actually, let's fire a missile, dude. Missiles are explosive. That's a good way to start off the episode. Let's put a missile in over here. There we go. Missile lock achieved. Very nice. Alright, so our first enemy is down. I still have enough AP left to fire another missile, and I do think that it's probably a good idea. Items are going to drop off of enemies right here. Uh, there's ammo, there's GP, which basically refills your action points, and, and then there's paper devices, which I haven't really had a chance to glean what that means, but I'm sure we'll get there. Can I lock onto you? Yeah, get another missile right here. How many missile ammos do I have? I should probably pay attention to that. Either way, we wiped out an enemy. What I would suggest we do is I would suggest we sort of... Oh, look, more enemies have deployed. That's unfortunate. Oh, that one has like a little tri-missile launcher too. I've got a feeling this is going to get painful. Missile sentries! Seems like the UNR is no longer in on the orbital treaty. Captain Alba, the shuttle's almost ready into the contact area. We've got no time. Copy that, Amy. Don't worry. All right, so we got no points left right here, so we press the R key. That's going to go ahead and bring up this menu right here. We can choose to take cover as we level up. This is an RPG, so as your characters get kills, they are going to get XP. They level up, and then they get new abilities like Overwatch and taking cover and things like that. As of right now, I haven't really got to most of those abilities, but maybe we will during kind of like this entire playthrough. Uh, do I have anything left? Let's go ahead and put in Kenji. He's got a knife. So really what's going to happen is when I get close to this sentry right here, it's going to start having a meter that goes down in real time. Once the meter goes all the way down, we get shot at. It's effectively reactive fire that's set up on these enemy units. And so we kind of want to close this quickly. There we go. There's 87 damage right there. I don't know if we killed the little bastard. Oh, I dragged the fire on over there trying to dodge it. Okay, that's not great. I probably would have preferred not to shoot my own guys right there, but you know what? That's the way she goes sometimes. I'm still getting a handle on things. But as you can see, it's kind of like a weird hybrid in between turn-based and real-time. All right, so those guys are pretty far out. This dude right here... I'm going to go with a normal shot right there. I don't know if that knocked him out. It did not knock him out. Okay, fair enough. I get the feeling we're gonna get shot with missiles this turn. There we go, now he's down. My next suggestion would be to split people up a little bit, or at least get some people into cover. That way we don't have to worry about getting hit by at least one of the missile turrets. Oh, nice. He refilled his ammo. I probably should have saved that for the person that fired a bunch of missiles. But, you know, fair enough. Uh, it's going to be the enemy's turn now. They're going to get to return fire. It's kind of a long bomb shot. But it didn't... Well, actually, he missed with most of it. We took seven damage right there. That's not entirely too terrible. The missiles are what I'm actively worried about. These things are going to hurt like hell. I know it. Hey, three big misses right there. I would like to see, so I don't think it should impact with the model of the mech if it's a miss. I actually think what would bring this game up and make it even doper is if the missiles miss, they hit things in the background, and, like, the environment is fully destructible, or, like, something that misses can go past, and if it just happens to hit the unit behind it, it'll deal damage there. Like, I think stuff like that actually makes games more random and more interesting. All right, so we've got our missile launcher over here. How far can I fire the missile? Can I fire it over to there? I can. Okay, how much ammo do I have left for the missile? 
Oh, I have 14 out of 16. It's up in the top left. Oh, we're good on ammo, dude. I'm not even worried about that. Dongbot, fire a missile. There we go. Dongbot took out, took him out with the dong missile. And I think if we can get that launcher over there too, that would be a really smart place to begin. I'm not worried about machine guns in the slightest in this game. However, missiles make me worry. They make me nervous. I'm the kind of person that I played like an LRM boat when I played Mech Warrior, and I know exactly how devastating a couple LRM 50 missile packs can be. I have no idea what the character talking right now is saying. If any of you speak Japanese, by all means, feel free to register it on in down below in the comments. Hey, she leveled up. Very nice. And we get this cool still frame of them just kind of rotating around the robot in the sunlight. You gotta love it. Uh, I... I don't know what I want to do here. Like, I really don't feel like the guy with the knife and the fist is that useful. Like, maybe he'll get some abilities, like, later on that make that a little bit more interesting. We've got a number of menus here that we can pan through as well. Apparently, we can get, like, unit readouts. Uh, so, we've got our GP right there for our generator and our movement. And it's got our accuracy. It's got our evasion, all that kind of fun stuff. We've got skills that we've unlocked right here. That's going to be our normal slash and our punch. We've got a DDE link. I have no idea what that does. That actually wasn't inside the tutorial, but it looks interesting. Uh, let's go back to the orders menu, though. I'm going to go... Let's deploy him first. We'll, we'll use him. He's got a vertical missile launcher, and I think he has a shotgun, too. I haven't used the shotgun yet, so let's use the shotgun. That sounds rad. It's out of range. Okay. Ah, that's definitely out of range. You got to be up close for that bad boy. Gotcha. When using a vertical missile, I'm not trying to use a vertical missile right now. I'm trying to dodge is what I'm trying to do. Uh, dodging was shockingly ineffective. I tried. I did my best little. I tried to do like a little scooby dooby dee bop bop. Like I tried to do like a little, you know, a little ankle breaker move, like fainting like I was going to the left and doing a couple donuts for style points. But unfortunately, it didn't go that way. So I got shot repeatedly. Luckily, the enemy has no accuracy whatsoever. So we weren't punished for that. Uh, close the gap and get him. Ooh, okay. Big damage right there. 170 on that attack and we didn't he tried to shoot us in the dong but like you know we got out of the way uh should i try to get out of here i don't know if i should try to like scoot away with my remaining gp like i don't have enough gp for an attack but i definitely have enough gp to kind of like skedaddle Yeah, I'll skedaddle. We'll move him on over to here. All right, what's this guy going to do? He's going to attack my dude over there with the vertical missile launcher and the shotgun. Oh, no, he's going after Alma. Okay. Little bit of damage took right there. That was actually a pretty solid hit on our mech. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, put her back on machine guns. How much machine guns do we have left? 255? Okay. Sounds good. We got to get this landing pad clear so that we can get the pod on in. Move this over to here, and I think from right here, I've got solid range, so we'll go... What happens if I shoot the base? It looks like it's actually all one solid piece, so what you're looking at here is our chance to hit over on the right-hand side, how much damage we're going to deal, and then if you look at the little yellow box right there, that basically implies how much armor they have left. Once that's all, like, sheared off... Actually, I think he's at... It's gray, so when it's filled up gray, that means they still have armor on their hard points. When it goes down to yellow, that means you're firing directly at internal componentry. Yeah, so I was going to say, so that should be a kill shot right there because we were firing directly into internals. Unfortunately, Alma got fed all the kills on that one. Hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt me later on. Oh, who is this dude? Oh, this dude looks raw. How come his mech is so much cooler than ours? He's going to say something dope like a bad guy in an anime, huh? He's going to be like, You thought we would just leave this pad undefended, didn't you? Is anyone else as confused as I am? The THV from the shuttle, that's DG, right? Why were we never told about it? Uh, I don't know, AJ. Our mission is just to secure the UNR orbital shuttle. No more details. There's too many secrets here. That's why I hate the office people. TCH, a lot of pressure leaking out of him. Man, your weird sense always works. He's moving. Oh, he's got a dope black helmet too, dude. 
Captain, the team is locked on from the Black DG. Fight first, talk later. Let's go. Oh, he brought backup too. Oh, we're about to get flexed on. I don't know what I should do here. It looks like it regrouped my units. Yeah, we'll take Kenji first and see what he can get done. Uh, Kenji should be able to go after this guy right here. So there's a little bit of damage off. We managed to strip the armor. The problem with Kenji is that he only gets that one swing before he can't really do much else. Uh, I'm going to suggest maybe going back over here. Ooh. Okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to hide behind this pole over here. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to be behind this large industrial structure. Nobody shoot at me. It's against the rules of war for you to shoot at me. Please don't. Um, There's some loot back there, and I kind of want to go pick it up, but they moved me around. All right, well, let's get Alma up in here. Uh, I think the best course of action is for Alma to just start missling the ever-loving hell out of everything. Ow. That dude's down. I'm going to try to get a little bit of a gap here. There we go. Maybe so I can get that guy. Man. That thing shredded our torso. Like, we are not looking good right now. We've got how many more enemies confirmed? We've got a machine gunner right there. And we've got a missile launcher right there. Okay. If we can clear most of the little pods... Before this gets rowdy, I'll be in a good mood. But if we can't pull that off... So I can't use my missile launcher from there. I can fire a gun at this guy. Yeah, let's go for it. So we broke his armor, but he's not dead. Do I got another shot in me? If I've got another shot in me, I suggest we go for it. Okay, so he's down. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab this loot. And then I'm going to try to take cover so that we burn the enemy's GP. Having Oh, cool. We got our we actually got our movement refilled. Nice. Okay. Well, he missed his reactive fire, so that's good. I'm facing the wrong direction, though. The controls do get a little bit wonky when you're inside of, like, I don't know what to call it. I've been calling it skid. When I go into skid like that and I'm, like, you know, skating around, uh, the controls are weird. So if you're wondering why I'm ending up in unintended position, it's because, like, it sort of, like, locks you into, like, a course almost. Like, if you're moving forward, it's cool, but it seems to get sketchy when you're looking over your shoulder while doing it. And I can't really describe how it's, like, kind of being weird, but... Trust me, if you play the game for yourself, you'll notice it. Alright, so there's nothing but a machine gun turret left. What's he going to fire at? Oh, please not, Alma. Yeah, Alma might get wrecked. Kind of depends how badass this dude is over here and who he decides to go after. It looks like he's going after Ajay, so that'll at least save us some trouble. Oh, my man has a ton of GP. He wanted you. Oof. Okay, definitely painful. But we've still got some HP left. We're still in this thing. We're not out yet. Uh, give me Kenji over here. I'm going to have Kenji close up with this dude. There you go. Get his ass. Oh, we actually stripped off all of his armor right there. We actually hit him pretty good. Is there, like, a, a target lock mode that I can use to, like, look at people around here? Not ideal, but we got him in and out. So we got the attack off, and we only took one counterattack. So I think we got, like, the better deal in that exchange. Uh, over here... 
Okay, we got out of range. Oh, no, we didn't, actually. Feels bad. Uh, can I fire a missile at him from over here? There we go. Fire a missile. The missile seems to give us the best damage conversion. Oof, 319 right there. Very nice. So his leg's a little messed up. His arm's a little messed up. He actually does have a lot of HP, though. All right, let's wipe out that turret right there real quick. So the turret's down, and then we need to figure out what we're going to do with Ajay in order to get him into position. I don't think I can break her for cover right now, so I'm just going to leave her right here. All right, dude. That's out of range. What's the optimal range for this? About right there. Okay. Well, we've got enough left for a machine gun shot, so we'll go with the machine gun first. Just to put a little bit of smoke on him. And then we'll see if we can kind of like drift out this way to at least force him to course correct. But I probably don't want to leave my back exposed to the enemy. I don't really know how the damage model is calculated front versus back. I assume though most of the armor is on the front of the mech. If this follows usual mecha convention. Then again, he seems to be focusing on... Oh, really? He's going after Kenji, huh? Woo! He's got a 360-degree AoE. Oh, my goodness. The man is a madman. Fair enough. All right, accuracy by volume. I respect it. Uh, we're going double missile on this turn. Come on, give me that good damage. There we go. We broke his armor on one of his legs. Very nice. Okay. Oh, his legs are actually they're a contiguous unit. So the leg armor is calculated for both legs. You don't have individual legs in this game. You do have individual arms, from what I can tell, but... Well, his legs are almost knocked out. We'll have him disabled in just a second, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and end that action right there. I wonder if I aim lower. Like, I wonder if where you aim actually matters. Hold on, let me try. I'm going to aim a machine gun in his legs and see if that actually gives me what I want right here. It looks like it uses, like, a Final Fantasy Tactics-style system where you get XP regardless of whether or not you get the kill. So at least everybody else has been gathering up some goodies, too. Uh, what I want to do is I want to shoot for his legs. It actually does work that way. Okay. There you go. Put it all on his legs if you can. I didn't get to use his grenade launcher thingy, which is kind of a bummer, but Kenji's what we got left. I did want to see... Will he still shoot at me if I'm, like, behind him? There we go. Hey, that's fine, man. You do what you gotta do. Get a little bit of damage off right there, although I feel like I don't really get to aim that altogether that well. Oh my god, it's so hard to steer. No! Leave me alone! I'm just a Kenji. Leave me alone! You wouldn't harm your neighborhood Kenji, would you? What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to follow me over here? No, dude, don't do that. Oh, he's going to, like, widen the angle. Definitely didn't expect that. Oh, never mind. No, he's not. He's going after Alma. I mean, to be fair, Alma is almost wrecked. Like, if her core goes down, we got big, big problems. Yeah, give me Alma one more time. I'm going to fire another missile at his leg, see if I can knock him over. His leg has one HP left. Oh my god. Try it again, try it again, try it again. Oh, it doesn't have one HP left. I guess we can't take out his legs. They're trying to force they're trying to force me to fight this guy honorably. I was just gonna kneecap him and move on, but I guess that's not what they want from me. I do have missiles. He's out of range though. Can I get into range? There we go. Yeah, missile packs. Get some, fool. 
I can do it again? Oh my god. Yay! More missiles! <laughs> We're making it rain on this dude. He's having a terrible afternoon. I hope this dude's life insurance is updated. Oh man. Wonder if I come in from behind if he still gets to shoot at me. It looks like he does. So even if you come in from behind, he still gets to shoot at you. What the hell are those things? Oh no. Nope, don't like that. Run! Those look like big ass swords. Those look like big ass like anime mecha Gundam swords. Those are really gonna hurt, aren't they? Ow! Apparently he has multiple forms. He went straight on into the whole like, FOOL! You don't even know the extent of my power! Like he went into that mode. Uh, let's see here. So like, I'm somewhat curious. I mean, I'm just going to keep shooting missiles at him, dude. Liberally applied explosives. That's the secret to this problem. Well, he's taking a little bit of damage. His cockpit and his torso are pretty shredded, so we might be able to do something with this. We'll put ourselves back. Oh, she leveled up again. Damn, everybody's leveling up right now. Everybody moving up in the world. All right, we'll jump on Ajay, dude, and I really do feel like the missile launcher. Well, our boy is kind of close right now. I don't know if, he, if he's going to appreciate. Ow. Okay, I obviously did not expect that. I think my shot went through him. Did he hit me in the head with that? Oh, no, dude. Okay, this guy is obviously a god. I'm gonna punch this dude, dude. Let's punch him. There we go. Ooh. That was a lot of damage, dude. Like, I can't imagine that this... Oh, he zeroed my torso with one attack. You can see the sparks and stuff flying off. Oh, man. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do now. And get back in over here, turn around, and just kind of set up for the next turn, I guess. God, what a mess. Yeah, I think if he goes after Ajay again, we're toast, dude. Oh, he didn't go after Ajay. It's cool that when, like, your components have been disabled, and it uses the, the character's camera, so let's say that, like, Alma has a, a, a cockpit that's busted. The camera gets all fuzzy and stuff while you're recording her. I, I kinda I kinda think that's rad. Uh, more missiles, please? Yeah, more missiles, absolutely. If I've got missiles left in the tube, we fire them at this point. It's getting a little desperate out here. This went from being like kind of a sweep and clean to like a dog fight real, real quick. We're rolling around in the mud. It's time for us to get something finished here. Oh, cool, we disabled his cockpit. Does that mean he's dead? Nice. Oof. Well, that's dual gear, everybody. I hope you guys liked it. The game is in early access as of right now. I would do some research before purchasing just to make sure you're aware of how much content depth that there is, like how much has been implemented in terms of like dollars per hour, you know what I mean? But other than that, I like what they've got going on. My main critique, I think, is around like the skid mode, like where I'm skating around. Uh, the controls are a little bit wonky inside that skid mode. But like aside from that, dude, like I, I really, really like what they've got going on here. It's kind of a modified front mission type idea. And it's working for me. It's working real, real good. I'll see y'all later. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. I'll be back tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. Bye bye